CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back. We're in conversation with Gautam Singhania of the Raymond Group. Uh, Mr. Singhani, of course, now we're at your, uh, you know, hangar. You have a helicopter here. How often do you get to fly? And uh, uh, is your love for flying as great as your love for driving cars? Well, you know, a lot of people look at this as a luxury, but I think in a city like Bombay, it's a necessity with the amount of traffic <laughs> that you have. Yeah. Um, I come here quite often to plan mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, sometimes in the evening in the monsoons, it could take you two hours and three hours. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm here at least twice a week, so, and uh, I'm traveling a lot. Where do you usually fly off to, I mean, when... From here to the race course, it gets you back into the center of the city, and... Uh, I see. It's a predictable 20, 22 minutes from here to my house, otherwise, uh, you know, if, if you, in the morning, if you don't leave early, it could take you an hour and a half, in the evening, it could take you two and a half to three hours to get back. Mm. It's yeah. a, a, a big waste. Cutting traffic time, yeah. yes, of course. Uh, you know, you spoke about luxury and how this is many people, uh, you know, is seen as flamboyance, as you know. Uh, the image that you have, you know, it's not just as the chairman and managing director of the Lars Raymond Group, it's also your love for fast cars and luxury and the good living. Does that image ever, have you felt that it has come in the way or hurt you in any uh, fashion? See, I am what I am. I'm living the company tagline of the complete man, so <laughs> we get away with a lot of stuff under that name. But <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, talking about your tagline, since you brought it up, the complete man. You're positioning Raymond as, you know, a men's, uh, you know, brand. It, it's for men. It's the suiting is for men. Of course, you have other brands. Uh, what about the women? I mean, they're in the workforce too. I am working as well. Is is that a segment of the population or your customers that you're missing out on with this branding? So. Women's wear is actually a completely different business. We, yes. Whilst it looks like apparel, etc., it's a very complicated subject. Yes. Uh, having said that, we've done a bit of work in it in Park Avenue Women. Hmm. And Park Avenue Women is growing. So for somebody like you, you've got the Park Avenue Women brand, which has done well for itself, hmm. you know, workwear and stuff. And that's slowly now growing. So we've, we've got the whole new collection this year, which is very well received. Hmm. And I think... Um, Moving forward, it will grow, but it won't grow exponentially like our menswear segment. You know, your clientele, of course, ranges from, you know, the older, you know, trustworthy, the, you know, uh, loyal customers to now the younger generation that is constantly looking for new things, new designs, new fabric. How do you uh, cater to all of these segments, make the brand, uh, you know, uh, likable for everyone and everyone? Well, Raymond has so many different offerings from 150 rupees a meter to 300,000 rupees a meter. Mm. Uh, so the amount of SKUs we do is huge. Mm. Uh, we also understand the tastes of consumers because we sell north, south, east, west. We've got our own distribution. We've got our own over a thousand stores. So it gives us a lot of information mm. as to what the consumer is looking for. Mm. And that's really the competitive advantage of this business because the trade tells us what's what's going on. Is that how you keep the brand relevant even after 90 years of business? Sure, because I mean, if you, the only way to keep it relevant is to give the consumer what he wants. Mm. And if you're listening to the consumer, you sort of give them what they want. You're yeah, talking about the changing demands of the consumers. Um, fashion is being consumed online more and more in this day and age. Of course, you have your own Raymond outlets and uh, you have your own uh, website where you sell products. Are you seeing a stiff competition coming in from the online retailers? Well, online is always a new channel. But in India, people like to go to the store. They like to touch feel. This is a product which is touch feel. It's not like buying an iPhone 7, hmm. which is a commodity. A commodity item is much easier on the internet, the television, yeah. a music system, where people do their research and buy it. Yeah. People like to come. They like to try on a garment. They like to see if it fits them well. They like to feel the fabric. They come with relatives in India. They come with relatives because they Together want a the reassurance that, oh, is it looking good on me? Mm. Uh, they're not that confident. The Indian consumer is not that confident. I see. So, I think there'll be coexistence of the two channels. But, say, what proportion of your sales are coming from uh, the online customers? Oh, it's very small. It's very, very small today. Okay. Okay, uh, you know, also talking about your vast experience, I mean, you've been heading this group for over 16 years now. Um, what have been some of your biggest learnings? I mean, what are the surprises that this job has thrown up for you so far? Well, I think you come up with surprises and challenges every day, and um, I think your job as a leader is just to solve those problems. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you can't solve it yourself. They say the, the most intelligent person in the room is the collective wisdom of the group. So if you get the right people in the right jobs, I think that's really my job. On that note, we'll take a very quick break, but stay tuned, we'll be right back.
CNBC TV 18 Weekender.